Hello, hello, and good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. It is Allison. Today's gonna be such a fun day because we are going to be attempting to make that beautiful focaccia flour bread that I see everywhere over Pinterest. I will have to link some photos down below so you guys can see, see exactly what I'm talking about. But I found this recipe on the side of a Trader Joe's buttermilk pancake box, and it's for focaccia bread. Is it pronounced focaccia, focaccia, focaccia? I don't know, but I've been pronouncing it focaccia. Um, I have made this focaccia bread for quite a long time, but I've never made this recipe and it seems like such a shortened version of a focaccia bread. So we're gonna see if it tastes good um, and really see if we can decorate it to make it really cute for the spring season. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Let's cross our fingers to see if it hopefully looks good um, by the end of this video. But as always, thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting my channel. It just means so much to me. All of the comments and the likes um, and the views uh, really help growth or grow my channel. So thank you so much for the continued support. But let's go ahead and make this focaccia bread. And comment down below if I'm pronouncing that wrong or right, because I, I, need, I need to know if I move on. <laughs> My mom actually got me this apron. I really like it because I can tie it in the front. So thank you, mom, if you're watching this video. I'm sure she is, but it's definitely got some use. I need to wash it a little bit, but love this apron. All right, you guys, I have laid out all of the ingredients I need to complete this recipe. I will leave the recipe down below in case you guys want to follow along as well, but for the purpose of this video, all you need is two cups of Trader Joe's baking mix, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of whole rosemary that is chopped, one half teaspoon of basil flakes, one packet of yeast, and three fourth cup of warm water, and three tablespoons of good olive oil. Additionally, I went ahead and decorated the top of my focaccia bread with some tomatoes, one onion, and just some additional Parmesan cheese that I went ahead and sprinkled on top.
Okay, you guys, our bread is rising inside of our microwave in a nice, non-drafted, warm spot. But in the meantime, we'll go ahead and get started on all the decorations that we're going to go ahead and put on top. And I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. I'm sure you guys already know what it looks like, but I'm going to see if we can make um, little mushrooms out of tomatoes and then stems out of onions. So we'll go ahead and see if we can tackle that. And I wish, wish, wish you guys could have smell-o-vision or have smell-o-vision because it is smelling so divine in my household right now so let's go ahead and make those ingredients to put on top of the focaccia bread and we can go ahead and put it in the oven and then we can surprise joey whenever he gets home with the finished product all right you guys let's go ahead and make the stems for the mushrooms all i did was cut an onion in half and then i took the whiter part of the onion and just made little stems out of them i think they turned out really cute and additionally for the tomatoes I would take the tomatoes, slice them right down the middle, and use them to be the little heads of the mushrooms, and they turned out super cute. I will show you guys kind of what the vision is when I put them both together, but at the end of the video, you will see just how cute they look. Oh my goodness, look at that. The vision is coming to life. Okay, you guys, so we just finished our secret project. I'm saying it's secret because Joey just got home and I don't want to tell him what it is. I just want him to be surprised when he sees it. Okay, Joey, come on over, please. And you know the drill, don't look. Okay, don't look. And I'll tell you where to stand. Keep coming closer. Keep coming closer. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Look at it. Oh my god. It's focaccia bread. No way. And don't they look like that is awesome. mushrooms? They do. That is cool. Good job. Isn't it such a fun spring bread? It is. That looks great. <laughs> so now we just get to stare at it like always. Oh my gosh. Maybe the fun. focaccia. <laughs> You're the focaccia. <laughs> so exciting. So exciting. I wanted to show you before I took it out of the pan because I was in fear of messing it up. So now that you've seen it, I'm gonna try my best to plate it, but we'll see if that works. Isn't it fun? That was really <laughs> good. Good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you. Me too. It's like a baby. Not our baby. <laughs> Silly. Okay, I'm gonna try to play it. Um, well, first, let's take some pictures of it just for at risk of breaking or damaging it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, you guys, we are officially done with our little focaccia bread. It is so cute. Joey really likes it too. So I'm gonna see, we're gonna wait till this guy cools a little bit more and then we're gonna cut into it and have a little bit of a little slice. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today as we make our cute little focaccia bread. But I will see you guys in the next video. That's really good. Mm -hmm. That is pretty tasty. Oh, see ya. <laughs> <laughs>